Hey guys, just doing a quick video for you on how we can track conversions even if we're using lead ads, even if we're using video views, even if we're boosting posts. So um, what I wanted to show you guys here is quickly how we pull this up. So what you can do in these columns um, is you can customize it so you can track anything that it is that you like. But first of all, we have to do something called setting a custom conversion. So let's just say we're all sending all of these to the same funnel. So I'll show you guys, uh, give you guys an example um, of a funnel, right? So let's just say we're sending all these different pieces of traffic to our webinar funnel. And what we wanted to do was track when people um, opted in for the webinar. So normally if you're sending a lead out or something else, you can't really tell if they've opted into the secondary page. We can't pull that up. So all we need to do is we need to create a custom conversion. And now as long as we have our Facebook pixel on our page, which we should have on every single page, um, we can create a custom conversion. So we grab this URL at the top and we use that to create a custom conversion because um, that's where we want to reach, right? So all we do is we click here, put in the URL and make sure it's contained, not anything else. We call it a lead. And this is going to be our custom. I'm just going to put an um, example just to make sure that I don't confuse it with anything else, right? So we've got our custom conversion example. So what we then can do is we can jump back in here and we can customize our columns. So we can get actual results. So what we want to come down to is then our conversions on our website. And you saw the one we made before, which was called custom. Uh, where are we here? Should be at the custom. Where are we? Might have to. Custom conversion example. And pause till I find it. Just had to refresh the page, and then we have our custom conversion example. And we also want to get obviously our cost, cost per custom conversion example. And we'll pull this right at the top so we can see it. Once we apply that, we can see that anyone that we send now to that page, as long as a few things are ticked and we have that pixel on the page, we can track how many people opt in regardless if it's video views, a boosted post, a lead ad, doesn't really matter, as long as something always happens at the ad set level. So I'll show you guys um, what I mean by that. So if we are uh, at the ad level, sorry, as long as we go down, right down to the ad, there's always a little, you'll see in here, there's always a little button you wanna make sure it's ticked, which is track the conversion. So I'll scroll down and show you as this loads. Scroll down. At the bottom, it'll say you wanna track conversions from the pixel, right? So we wanna make sure we always can track all the conversions that happen, so that, and then we um, save that, so as long as that happens, now it'll track every time a conversion happens and we'll be able to see if this custom conversion gets fired off. Um, and then we do that for each of those at the ad um, campaign level that we went into. So then it doesn't matter if it was video views or anything else, every single one of them at the ad level, you'll be able to select that. And what that means is it's every time that you select that, you're tracking all the conversions, you can go back and look at that custom conversion and you can make sure and see, was it the video views, was it anything else that actually gave you those leads, right? That actually got you those sales. So you can do that on your opt-in page, on your sales page, and again, pull those custom, set those custom conversions up. And every time you can see what it was specifically that actually got you those results. So just a quick and short video 
for you guys today, but I think it's very powerful to understand how you can utilize the targeting so that even if you're doing a video, a boosted post, whatever it is, as long as you have this box tick, this pixel tracking, you can always pick up those custom conversions and uh, you can know what to scale, what not to scale, and how to get better results. So that's it for today, guys. Just a quick and easy one for you on how to utilize the pixel to make sure you know what campaign to scale what wants to turn off and regardless if you're doing a lead ad a web clicks ad or a post engagement ad obviously conversions you can do it as well hope that was helpful cheers guys